Hello YouTube, just a quick video um, to show you how to access the data set. First of all, you want to click on the new button right here and show down the data set right there, click add, okay, click load, add data set, you want a data table, drop that there or you can right click add data table and all that stuff, add another one if you want. But we're going to be accessing data table 1. Um, just add a few columns, add, just add a column basically. We'll put this one high, and we'll add another one, add one called yo. Wait, I do it for pull one, oh that's good. You know, I don't know how what just happened then, but we'll go with that. Anyway, I added these columns apparently, and let's, you can scroll down and all that stuff, right click and all, add Key, key and all that stuff, cancel. It's pretty much like a normal data set. But we can get in that later if you guys want. Anyway, we're going to find out how to access it first of all. We have nothing on here. Okay. And then it will come up here, but don't worry about it. Click button 1. We'll get a text box. Look at multi line so we can see them all. Make it bigger and double click on button one. I'll make it. Oh, wait, we need to um, make the variable kind of public. Um, dim data, like, yeah, it's called data. Dim data as new data data set one. It comes right there. It, same as C sharp, so so. C plus, that's, I believe it's probably similar. So everything's pretty much the same visual for Microsoft, I think. To me, it does, anyway. And we'll make it text box one dot text e plus equals, so we'll make it so it adds each time. Um, we'll go. Since it's just simple control, we'll make environment line to make a new line of the text that we added. Environment dot new line plus and plus data data dot data table one. That's what we called it. Dot um down. Look, I have I've got an actual what we called it. Hi, I think it was. Data table one dot hi. Sorry, I completely forgot what was it what was I completely lost out of my mind. Data table one data dot data table one yeah dot hi hi column make hi column and you can have and add all the other columns you want. Well, you have to do dot to string of course. And that makes it work. It's just simple code. Add, 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 add. And you can add the other ones too. It pops up. And that's just a simple tutorial on how to access it, like show it and that, remove it and all that type of stuff. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rent, subscribe, share this video, and peace.